shot. Drinks. Dead. Yeah, we really need to panel something. Hey guys, I'm Adam Haig from 3D Games and in this video I'll be showing you how to make your own tufts. Now this here is the Army Painter tufts and here in New Zealand this will set you back $13. Here are some homemade ones that I made and for a fraction of that price. Now that being said, there is an initial outlay which will set you back a decent amount of money and that is a static grass applicator. Uh, these things are well worth the money. I highly recommend uh, if you're wanting to get serious about terrain building. Uh, these things are awesome. There's all sorts of different brands. Uh, this is the one that I use because it's the only one I've got. You'll need a metal tray. No, I will not need a tray. I do not need a tray. Yes, you will need a tray and baking paper. Tape the paper to the tray. Now any old PVA glue will do. Squeeze out a dollop into a suitable dish. Use a toothpick or a matchstick to apply the glue to the paper. This allows you to space the dots of glue easily and precisely. Vary the size and shapes of the glue to suit your needs. Take care to leave a decent amount of space between your dots so your tufts don't stick together. Put the static grass into the applicator. I've found that 4 to 7 mil static grass works best. Attach the applicator's alligator clip to the tray. When you turn on the applicator, fibres shoot out everywhere, which is why you don't do this in your living room. Then go ahead and shake the applicator about an inch above the tray and watch the magic. This is so easy to do and so satisfying and very quickly you'll end up with hundreds of tufts. For some reason the Woodland Scenic 7mm static grass didn't work so well. As you can see it's a bit of a flop. Once the PVA glue is dry it's very easy to peel the tufts off the baking paper with your fingers. And here I have four different coloured tufts ready to go. They're easy to apply with a dab of PVA and press into place. If you enjoyed this video make sure to hit like and subscribe. And if you want to see more advanced techniques like adding flowers to your tufts, click on the link above. Thanks and good hobbying guys. Nothing says badass like grassy tufts and motorbikes. Ah!